Iburu, Iboya, Ibuche, everybody in Cyberland. It's your favorite Bawa Lao coming at you with a sequel. Boom, help me help you. And in this one, we're going to talk about an old doom, Oche Leso. What is Oche Leso? It's a nickname for Oche Iroso. But particularly in this one, I want to focus on a couple of concepts. One is conduct. When we talk about Ocheroso with Omo Ochun, we have to be very careful about a couple of things. Because in Omo Ochun, we notice that Ochun through Patakis and Ochun being the, um, the patron of the rivers, right? We talk, she's a divinity. Um, and that same river has been used for many things. That same river goes through many rocks and through many turmoils. So when we think about Ochun, we think about conduct because of Ocheroso. So, so we have something that's free flowing and is constantly going through things. And then we have Ocheroso, who inherently, when I say conduct, can be good or could be bad. The person themselves could be good or could be bad because inherently this is where the struggle occurs this is where issue begins to monitor that person's life and begins to see where the conflicts are going to occur and then what he does is if you don't appease issue at the door what's going to happen is he's going to shake that house and he's going to make problems. He's not going to allow some of that ire and those blessings, those tranquilities to come through. So, let's understand these two concepts again before I deep dive into this one. Ocheroso. All right? Ocheleso. We talk about conduct. We talk about um, inherent good, evil, things that can flip on you if you're not careful. So, conduct. Then we talk about omo chung. We talk about the rivers. We think about the concepts of that element and water and flowing, free flowing, never knows what's going to necessarily hit. It could be a fish. It could be rocks. It could be whatever. It could be people crossing the, the river. A lot of different concepts there. So now let's deep dive. When I think about, when I think about this sign, the first thing I think about is you got to be very careful with your conduct or when people come to your house. Because your house, your ile, okay, for Oche Leso, your house is everything. Your body is everything. So when I say ile, I'm talking about your body. I'm talking about the physical space that you're in. And even the spiritual house that you're in. That's your ile. Conduct yourself properly. To the point, think about it like a hostess. When you walk into a restaurant, the hostess says, how many? Okay, let me take you to your table. They sit you down. They welcome you. You have to learn how to conduct yourself to a certain matter where your personality needs to be welcoming. Why? Because I remember I explained already that issue is looking. The other big thing about it is because of personality and because we have to learn how to conduct ourselves because of the free flowing river who you are, Omo Chung, you also got to remember that your love life is just think about your love life being a boat on that river. And it's flowing. And now it's getting rocky, right? Because now it's a, the great water, you know, what do you call it? Wet water rafting, right? It starts to get bumpy. But the conduct is still there because the conduct is the other side of that. Your love life is always going to go through some form of turbulence. And it's going to be up to you to figure out what to do with it. It's up to you to figure out how you're going to maneuver those waters. So what am I saying to you at the end of the day? Ocheroso, ocheleso, however you want to say it, you're going to have problems. You're going to have problems when it comes to significant others. And if you have kids, those kids will become collateral damage if you're not careful. You got to be careful to, to, to manage the situation properly. If you're going to separate within... Um, a couple, right? If you're married, if you're together, maybe you're with the baby daddy, whatever it is, and you're going to separate, you got to be very careful and do this right. You got to make sure that you plan it out perfectly and everything goes smooth. 
who did I say was watching at the door? Isu. That's very, 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 very important, okay? The other big thing about this sign, go back to your godfather. You need to sleep with a uh, rewaldo, okay? Something that your godfather will give you so you can maintain inside your bedroom to kind of bring peace and calm and clarity to you, even when you sleep. Because there's times when you don't really get the restful sleep that you require, okay? Um, something else that I, that, I, that we need to remember is because you're on more chun, okay? You have to feed all chun. And there's an embo that needs to be done for this sign where it talks about you feed uh, Ochun, a yellow hand, and, and whatnot. But go back to your godfather. And I say this for two reasons. In this sign, we must always comply with the wishes of Ochun and Chango. Ochun and Chango speak in this sign, specifically Chango. Okay, and we already know that there was a matrimony or there's a pact between those two energies and that divinity. For an Omo Ochun, 100%, you gotta do an Ebo with Ochun, with this sign. It's vital, it's important, okay? Because of the sign and because Ochun is your head. And Ochun speaks in your sign. Does that make sense so far? Okay. Another thing that I want to make sure that that you remember when we talk about Ocheloso, okay? Ocheloso conduct. When I say conduct, I talk about people who let's use this for example, because in Ocheloso the 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 conflict comes a lot with the spirituality of the person's head. The person who wants to receive the Manuel Rula. Then wants to be a palero, then wants to be a piritita, then wants to do this, do that. Um, you don't understand this, so you don't like an answer over here, so you go over here. Ocheleso. That's issue. That's eating up at you, right? Remember, I told you conduct is the cornerstone of Ocheleso. Understanding how do you need to act. To calm yourself, to center yourself, be a good hostess, not just for your home, but for yourself and for your spiritual home. I mentioned that because that's the cornerstone of the sign. Because you can inherently be good or you can inherently be bad. But your conduct will define you. And you remember that you're the free-flowing river. It's going to help guide you even further. Those are some tips that I have for Oche Leso at the end of the day. The other big thing that I got about Cheleso is be very careful when I talk about, I talk about your ile, I talk about your spiritual home, I talk about your physical home, and I talk about you. Within your home, there's also an essence and a presence of parents and siblings and everything else. That's something else that's kind of lumped in to the sign, right? So we always got to keep an eye out on siblings or very close, close relatives. Um... Not everyone is out to be for your best interest. Keep an eye out on everyone because sometimes people don't want to, they don't, they're jealous of you, right? Or they want what you want. Or maybe they don't even know the struggles that you're going through, but they still want what you got because they think that everything is great. So be careful with those around you, specifically family, siblings more than anything else. But at the end of the day, you're going to be fine. Just conduct yourself in a better manner. Level your mind. Remember that you're a free-flowing river. And conduct yourself in a humble manner. And I promise you everything is going to be right. You sleep well because you're going to go to your godfather and you're going to get that rewaldo. Now, let's talk about health before I close this up. Get yourself checked out. Okay? For males in this sign, you got to get your prior parts checked out. For females, same concept. Ovary, stomach, those type of areas, okay? Um, in this sign, it's a lot, of, a lot of issues of illness in those areas. And sometimes that, that illness comes and it goes. Because maybe a doctor got rid of it, but it'll come back. You got to keep an eye on that. But with that said, Omo Chung, I did a, uh, a tribute for Chung. Okay, in one of my other videos, 
So please look at that. And with that said, Iburu, Iboya, Ibucheche, Cyberland, it's your favorite Babalao, at least I hope so. Tuning out, give me a like, give me a share, shoot me an email, la regla de ifa at gmail.com. That's la da regla da de da ifa at gmail.com. And my wife and I will make sure to hit you back up with the comments or emails. Iburu, Iboya, Ibucheche.